What is the electron geometry and molecular geometry of SO2 or sulfur dioxide? So I have drawn in the board the Lewis structure of SO2. And it is very obvious from the Lewis structure that the central atom in the molecule is sulfur. So in order to determine the electron geometry and molecular geometry of a molecule, you need to count two things. One is the number of atoms bonded to the central atom, and the other one is the number of lone pairs around the central atom. So let's count first the number of atoms bonded to the central atom. How many atoms are bonded to sulfur? So we have one, two, two atoms bonded to the central atom. Then we count the number of lone pairs around the central atom. When you say pair, it has two electrons. So in a Lewis structure, a lone pair is represented as a pair of two dots. So how many lone pair around sulfur? We only have one pair. So one lone pair around the central atom. So below the structure, I have attached a table that summarizes electron geometry and molecular geometry. So let's look for the number of bonded atoms around the central atom and the number of lone pairs around the central atom. We figured out that we have two bonded atoms around the central atom and one lone pair around the central atom. Therefore, we will know the molecular geometry, which is bent, and the electron geometry, which is trigonal planar. So the answers to this question are, the electron geometry is trigonal planar, and the molecular geometry is bent.